uh, this is coming into the audio interface here so this plug is is the sound we are going to uh, patch it through uh, some of the filters so uh, the filter queen goes first and uh, i'm going to put the input from uh, so the output this is the output from uh, the elect drive this goes into the uh, input socket on the uh, uh, on the electrics, so we can see the signal now. And the output from the filter queen goes back into the audio interface. So we can uh, bypass the effect, that's our original signal, then we can fade the effect in. And this is currently working as a really simplest possible filter, low pass and high pass. There are some basic things like the uh, envelope follower or envelope. So, uh, the second filter I want to show you is the Sherman filter bank. So, we patch in the output from the electric drive into the input of the uh, Sherman filter bank. No, oh, input was. Interesting things now happen when you increase the amplitude of the signal. So I'm going to patch it through to uh, Filter Queen again. Oops, wrong way. That's where we left. Original signal. So let's say high pass, just plain simple filter. And now we are going to uh, increase the amplitude of the signal. I can't do it very, very much. Uh, just from the electric drive, but its outputs are pretty hot, so we're just gonna bring the volume up of everything and maybe add a little bit of bass. This is uh, this is the filter now, it's starting to distort, break up with uh, red light stream. Or oh, we can just amplify the signal a little bit more uh, with this little mixer here. Uh, so the output is just going back into the uh, filter queen. And now we are starting the launch with, uh, with this game. So this is our clean signal, and it distorts on the on the, unit, on the mixer unit itself. So <laughs> we don't want to do that really. But just to keep the mixer loud and hot. Now I'm gonna try to increase the uh, gain on the input.